Oh, oh! I see a faint shimmer. Oblivion, take you! What is it you want from me? Well, p stone steps. I was wondering if you could explain why everyone's turned invisible. Yes, I have been working on a new invisibility spell. As you can see, it works quite well. Why? I think it works a little too well. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, snap, Everyone son! That must have been what all the shouting was about a few weeks ago. I'm afraid I was engrossed in an experiment that required my full attention. A likely story. You see, in order to increase the efficacy of the spell, the radius was likely to approach. Oh, never mind. I don't mean to bore you. Oh, finally, an NPC who understands that I don't care about every single little thing that comes into their head. Yes, yes, just get to the point, sir. You can tell them not to worry. The effect is not actually permanent. It should wear off eventually. That's an ominous word. Well, in a year or two, maybe oh. a bit more. There's no way to be absolutely uh. sure. That's the exciting thing about basic research. I somehow doubt they'll be happy to hear this. Really? I find being invisible quite refreshing. But, if it will get everyone to leave me alone, fine. I did work out a counter spell last week. If I can just put my hand to it. Ah. Yet yeah, trying to find Here. things would be difficult. Stand in the center of town to make sure you get everyone. Oh, and make sure. Never mind. What? It should be fine. What? I'm sick of people not telling me things. I am sorry about that. Just use the reverse invisibility scroll I gave. You're not telling me something. Yes, just read the scroll in the middle of town. It should work. Although, just in case, it might be best if you wore this ring while you were casting the spell. I make them myself. Very useful for this kind of research. Not that I think anything will go wrong. Oh, of course not. Serious side effects are highly unlikely. Oh yeah, you know, just, just a bit of minor brain damage. You know, you might have the feeling in your limbs go. You too. Perhaps, you know, a bad case of the hives every now and then, but apart from that, you'll be fine. Um, has, has Smeggy just run off now? Oh, there you are. Stop staring at that dead wolf, we've got business to take care of. I swear I found, like, the two most tedious quests in the entire game this episode. I apologize if you've been bored stiff. I will find something terribly adventurous to do next time. So long as this all pays well, it'll be worth worth any amount of stress. Oh dear. At least it's all very conveniently nearby. I didn't actually equip this ring he just gave me. Maybe I'd do that. Uh, ha! And he's got this... Uh, where's this thing he gave me? Uh, ah, I better, yes, yes. Very well then, very well. Hoppity hop, hop, I said hoppity hop. Hippity hoppity. Faux shizzle. Right, Alakazam, Balakaboo, make me be able to see you. Nope, is that not working? Oh, there we go. Hooray! I I don't actually see. Oh, oh, there's a person. <laughs> Random guard got affected by the spell. Oh. Yes. Greetings, Egg Brother. We'll never forget how you saved us from Ankotar's crazy magic. What can I do for you? Do you got any sheep you don't need? I'm quite peckish. I say, live and let live. It was an unfortunate accident, and he helped make it right. Others in the village are not so forgiving, though. I don't blame him for keeping to himself. I, I have to say, a bit of violence might be called for. But, you know, so long as you're happy, it's all good. Whatever. Thank you. Ah! Thank you. I can't tell you Everyone keeps jumping on me this episode. See myself again. My sisters, on the other hand. I wouldn't mind if they had stayed invisible. <laughs> oh ho! Ah, me. Friend, 
You are welcome. I'm picking his nose. Well in any time. Free of charge. Hooray! Free lodging in a crappy inn in the middle of nowhere. That was totally worth Bye. it. Well, at least I got some fame for it. Literally, I got no money. I feel totally obligated now to just take all their bl their crops and eat them in front of them. Because this, this is your punishment. Punishment. A fitting punishment. It's karma. Karma, bitches. You don't like it? Take it up with the cosmos, not me. Right. Okay, at long freaking last. No more getting sidetracked. No more wandering off in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to teleport back here to save a few precious seconds of recording time. And now, let's just get out of here. Don't mind the piles of dead dogs. Yeah, we Quite a wild night, apparently. Oh, it's a lovely morning. And there's another freaking wolf. I go five seconds and there's a freaking wolf, honestly. He doesn't seem to have noticed me. Um. Um. Ah, that. Come on. Hey. Oi. Oi. Apparently he's not having any of that, so... Okay, I'm not complaining, if you wanna, if you wanna just... If, he he knows, he knows, he saw what happened to his friends, and he's like, Oh, I ain't, I ain't touching that, no, to leave me alone, dog. Dog, because cause he's a wolf, dog thing. You know, he knows what's up, he knows when he's outmatched. What is this now? What is this? What's, what's going on here? Just walked into Stonehenge. Oh. Huh. I'd rather not engage in some pagan ritual if I can help it. That sounds like a path to danger and misfortune. I'll probably go there and there'll be fairies dancing around it trying to steal my children and raise them for their own. That'd actually be quite interesting, but no, no, we've got no time for that. We've wasted enough time on tedious quests today. We're going up to Bruma, and then we're going to find out what's going on. Ah, uh, Bruma, the uh, Skyrim away from Skyrim, as it were. It'll make, you know, if you're homesick with Skyrim, it'll make you feel right at home. It is, however, also a dangerous place, because up in the snowy reaches is where you get frost titans, which are the giant evil white minotaurs I was warning you about. Okay, this wolf actually does want a chunk of my face, which is most unfortunate because I'm gonna have... Did you just see that in my imagining it? He just kind of launched himself at me and then promptly died. Did he... I think he launched himself at me, and then hit the ground so hard, he broke his spine. And now I'm just going to eat him. He's not actually dead, he's just paralyzed, and now I'm eating him alive. A fitting punishment. Let's go. Leave him to his fate. You will, you will get no mercy from me. That was very strange. Oblivion, where random shit just happens for no reason. Uh huh. Ah What? What? Did I What was that? I don't know what that was. I swear I heard something fly by me. <laughs> like it like an axe being thrown. I don't know what I'm not even gonna hang around and find out. I'd rather Pretend everything was just hunky-dory and continue our quest to very slowly try and climb this hill. I don't know what I was trying to do there, I just wanted to get to that cave. It makes a nice... it's a nice uh, stopping point right on the crossroad here. Ah, fuck that shiz. Let's just get to town. I'm going to town on your asses. Out the way, dear. I have no time for nature. Ooh, it's going all snowy and nice. Riding through a winter wonderland. And boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo. 
Boo. Do boo does a what the oh fuck a load of deer. Whoa, what the Ah! 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 Ha, ha, ha. Oh, whoa! Why is this cat bust? Oh crap, he's killing my horse! Die, snow leopard! Snow leopard, no! No! This is snow place for you! Look at him, what is happening? Come back! Oh, he's gonna murder Smeggy! <gasps> no, 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 no! No! Smeggy, run! Smeggy! No! Oh no! You... You absolute cunt juggler! What have you done? Oh, now you're gonna kill me! Ah! Oh, god damn it! Oh my god! They're eating her! And now they're gonna eat me! Oh my god! That's a pop culture joke. Look at the size of that thing! It's bigger than me! Ugh. Crikey, well let's just, uh... I'm not getting off the freaking horse this time, I'm just going. Going! Gone! Nada! Zilch! Poof! Away! Alakazam! Escape sequence! What do you... <laughs> what is he going on? Oh man, this thing, he's like he's making my computer lag too. He has Piers whimsical powers of evil. He's reaching through my screen and bah no Help Gods Oh damn it Smeggy He doesn't even have any horse meat Oh crap Fuck 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 This is what I was talking about Did I not warn you this was a dangerous realm of evil and witchcraft Oh And now the music has gone all relaxing Oh, damn it, Smeggy. Oh. Wilson, Wilson, I'm distraught. We've lost a member of our crew. What will we do? That rhymes. But, oh. I'm sad now, you know. This would be a sad note to end the, the episode on if I were to end it. I mean, oh. I can't believe that. I mean. That thing just came out of nowhere and murdered my dear, dear old nag. Fortunately, I can immediately purchase a replacement. Hello. Come inside and talk to Patrine if you want to buy a horse. I can't help you. I like how he's all sad because my horse died. Oh, it's snowing. I was just—I was so distracted, didn't notice. I'm new here in Bruma myself. I'm from down Heartland way. Nords up here, no offense, don't work as hard as us Imperial Heartlanders. Good to see that racism is rampant in Cyrodiil, as always. Bye. Oh, <gasps> he looks just like Smeggy did. Stop haunting me, horse. Oh, this is so depressing. I mean, it's just Smeggy. We such adventures we had. I mean, he, she she'd been around since episode one, and I ke I keep accidentally saying he, even though it was probably a she. Oh. How will I live without my life? Oh well, life goes on. Hello. What? Can I help you? Uh, you could do something about the freaking killer snow panther that just murdered. I can't remember what it was. Was it snow panther? Or snow? It was something. Oh, this is another quest thing. Skyrim bandit clans. Ooh. Well, this sounds. This sounds dangerous. Oh, ah, yes. More things to hunt down and murder, but right now I'm just too... This has been a very strange episode, and it's ended on a tragic note. I'm afraid, people, that we really should call it a day here. Now, once again... Stare a coin for the shut up, helpless, homeless man. Now, you may be thinking, oh, Kieran, it was a lovely episode, I loved it, but frankly, on a personal note, I don't think it felt very fun to me. I mean, just, there was the goblin quest, and then I had to ride around for half an hour, and then I did the really tedious thing where everyone was invisible. And I just, I didn't meet many interesting characters or exciting monsters. The painting quest was alright, but apart from that, 
Maybe you disagree. If this was your favourite episode or something, just go into the comments and say, Oh, Kieran, you silly lizard man. It was a terribly exciting episode. What are you talking about? This is the height of your YouTube career. I don't know. In any case, I promise the next one will be more immediately exciting, because now we've got a whole town to explore Hello. yet again. And it looks like Skyrim, so it'll be a flashback to Skyrim. This is the closest as I can get to playing Skyrim on this laptop, so you'd best get used to it. I'm just gonna get rid of the uh, marker there. Okay, well, uh, no matter what you thought, if you enjoyed this episode, no matter if it was your favourite or not, kindly press the little like button. And next time we'll see if Bruma has anything more exciting than another freaking goblin quest.